Cool after the long holiday weekend, only to be told go home for the rest of the week. That's what happened in Weatherford ISD west of Fort Worth. The district doesn't have enough healthy teachers and staff members. They hope to get students back in school on Monday. The district plans to use the time to deep clean its campus's extracurricular activities are still on since there are enough staff members to cover those events. Now, Weatherford is not the only district struggling to find enough substitute teachers. Some are going as far as asking parents to come in and teach. That's the case in Richardson where we find Chris Sadegi this morning. Chris, the districts are getting really desperate to stay open. Yes, Kara, and they are really struggling to find substitute teachers to fill in for staff that are out with COVID. And we've seen districts not only trying to find them for themselves, they're having to compete with other districts now. So that makes it all the more difficult. And they're going about it in different ways here in Richardson. They have even gone as far as to ask parents to become campus volunteers as they try to shuffle staff around and plug holes. A few districts, Garland, DeSoto and Arlington, are holding job fairs to find subs in the next week. Over in Little Elm, Human Resources posted a YouTube video imploring anyone who's able to come join the district as a substitute, even if it is just for a short amount of time. They received 15 new applicants since the video, but the district still needs up to 200 to fill that shortage. We've reported on districts approving pay, pay incentives and raises for substitutes. We spoke to one woman who is still a senior in college at UT Arlington and is already getting a lot of opportunities to sub with Arlington ISD. Kids are grateful to have someone in the classroom willing to teach them and to be with them. And teachers and staff are so incredibly grateful that you're able to be there because it is so tough right now. And even though there have been some headlines lately saying that the Omicron variant wave is starting to flatten or level off right now, UT Southwestern's COVID task force told us it is way too early to start making that determination or start easing up or celebrating it all. So those substitution opportunities could continue for a while. Mark, back to you.